It is day 12 of 30 Deeds 30 Days. Uh, it's early, I'm tired. But today we're gonna to race to find a cure. Susan G. Komen, uh, race to find a cure. We're in probably one of the most beautiful parks in the country, Central Park, right here in the middle of New York City. So we're making our way up right now to the, uh, to the beginning. We're gonna be working at the Survivor Breakfast. Then we're gonna run in the race, and then we'll be at the Survivor Parade. So it'll be a lot of fun. So, but I, I gotta get to work. I gotta hurry up. I'm late. We'll do a check-in, volunteer check-in tent. Now, part of the event is they have all of these booths set up. Um, you know, for, uh, like over there, State Farm, you go to bat, uh, you get a free online photo. Uh, there are a whole bunch of laser cosmetic, pretty much just vendors here. And it's pretty cool because you can walk by and get a whole bunch of free stuff. Survivor Village, but it looks more like a metropolis to me. This year, the Centers for Disease Control is reporting there are more than 2.3 million breast cancer survivors in the U.S., and every year it keeps growing. Each of you have had your own journey. I thank you for being here, and thank you for supporting not only this year, 250,000 women in New York, in the New York area, with support and services from this race for the cure you've done a phenomenal job uh, the new york affiliate the greater new york affiliate is the largest affiliate of susan g Komen, and we thank you very much and we're excited about this 20th anniversary when we started susan g Komen, the five-year survival rate for early breast cancer was 74 percent this year it is 98 percent This year, we expect 25,000 runners in New York. We raised and awarded five grants totaling $15,000 at the first race. And last year, you awarded almost $4 million in grants. Congratulations, New York. When this organization was founded a quarter century ago, the chance of surviving breast cancer was about 74%. 74%. Now it's 98% when found in time. That kind of dramatic shift happened because of some of the major advances in modern medicine, but also education about prevention. We had the 20th anniversary of anything. I had my 25th wedding anniversary, by the way, recently. So I know how difficult it is to get to 20 years. Uh, it means a lot. And I think it's a tribute to the organization that's continued to get stronger and stronger through those years, not the opposite. So we talked a little bit about what happened to me, because it was a wake-up call. I agreed to come uh, and be involved in this great event long before I had my screening colonoscopy, but I turned 50 this summer, and I was asked uh, by people who love me, we'll get a colonoscopy. And I was going to do it for the show anyway, so I went off and scheduled the test. And I show up with uh, John LaPook, that is his name, LaPook. And a good friend of mine, we tra you know, trained together. And so we were halfway through this procedure. He was singing a song about me having a long and winding colon. And halfway up this uh, evaluation, he said, Nana, open your eyes. Look, look what's happening. What is that? And it was a precancerous polyp. Many of you have had these identified, but I can tell you I had done all the things right in my life, I thought. I was fairly low risk for any kind of cancer, and that's again, one of the big messages that you can do a lot of prevention. But part of prevention is detection. And so by getting that screen colonoscopy, I had this precancerous abnormal that's popped, removed on, on the spot. Uh, like many of you, that has probably changed my health destiny, because we know that most colon cancers come from these. I look forward to the day when we have a similar screening test, that, that, that level of confidence with breast cancer screening. I look forward to the day when we're going to be able to be more effective at curing the problem as we find it to reduce a lot of the morbidity that goes along with the current treatments that exist out there. And th that day will happen because of this wonderful organization. God bless you all. Thank you. We're volunteering for 30 consecutive days as part of 30 Deeds, 30 Days. We're at the Susan G. Komen Race for the Cure, and Dr. Oz is here. I, I can't even see Trey, that's why I'm here. Yeah, you came just for me, which is great. And then we're also helping to find a cure for breast cancer. But again, I'm so proud of what you guys are all doing. Here's the real deal. You, society's changed because of the young ones. I'm 50, just turned 50. I've got four kids. 
And they're young ones. I know how they can change the world and how you can change the world. I'm so proud of you. Thank you. Thank you very much. There. And I can tell you, a lot of times folks say, oh, you know, I'm just uh, 18, I'm 20, I'm 14, whatever it is. I can't make a difference in the world. The only people who ever made a difference are the young ones. And they're bright, innovative ideas. We're just coming up with new ways of doing heart surgery, new ways to cure cancer, new ways to live in the world. I'm trusting you guys to make a difference in our world. Thanks for being here. So get out and volunteer because Dr. Ross said so. <laughs> Changed out of my volunteer shirt. I now have my race shirt on. We're ready to go. We've uh, done the registry. But as I was as I was registering, I was looking. If anyone is looking to register and do day of registration, the tables will be closing in about two minutes. Okay. Yeah. So I we're about to start the race. Will be closing at 9 a.m. for day of registration. But I was amazed to see that one of the busiest cities in the world, essentially, and the Susan G. Komen Race for the Cure is shut down. Central Park West, and if you just look down the street, all the way down is just a sea, a massive amount of people here, all to help out and to uh, help find a cure for breast cancer. So um, we're going to get started here, and um, hopefully I do well. But I, I got to find a place to stretch. So um, see you at the finish line. lady in front of me she's going down wait this is for a good cause okay okay maybe I won't push the old ladies down but kids stay out of my way all right Susan G Coleman race for the cure 30 deeds 30 days I gotta go The, uh, with the 3.2 mile race here for the uh, Race for the Cure Susan G. Komen Foundation. And I gotta tell you, got a little dicey there. It was around uh, the two mile mark. I met a real competitor. And uh, Betty, Rose, you won't forget that hip check. All right? But uh, other than that, it was, a, it was a lot of fun uh, running along all these survivors and everything. And uh, you know, like I, I guess you could say that every every person who runs, we're and every step they take, we're that much closer to finding a cure for breast cancer. And uh, you've heard a lot today. Ninety-eight percent of cases found early enough are cure. So we still got that two percent to go. So uh, Susan G. Komen race for the Cure Foundation's big run here it was fantastic, a lot of fun. Got my fitness in for today. So this is day 12, 30 days, 30 days. We're all done. I'll see you tomorrow.